Hi everyone, welcome to All Signs Tarot. This will be a current energy love reading of who is coming towards you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do Aries all the way through Pisces. And you can use this for sun, moon, rising, Venus, any placement. All right, let's get started. Let's see who is coming towards you romantically. All right, uh, let's see. Aries, Aries, who is coming towards Aries romantically, please? Uh, possibly a Scorpio Libra cusp. Who is coming towards Aries romantically? Uh, all right, so we have someone definitely in their head here, um, thinking about you, not sure how to approach you, that sort of thing. Um, not sleeping well, that kind of deal. They feel uh, disappointed in the connection. Maybe there's a third party or something along those lines. The Knight of Swords, I'm going to clarify, because the Knight of Swords could mean that they are angry, uh, but it could also just mean that they want to act quickly. All right, so I, I can't really tell. I'm going to get a little bit more on your reading. So we have all swords here. So there's there's definitely some obstacles in this connection that, that uh, are showing here. So who is coming towards Aries? Let's clarify this. Ooh, yeah. So they see you as like, I feel it's like the opposite way around. Like they feel that you are um, angry, <clears throat> like angry with them or that you are annoyed with them or something like that. So I feel like they, yeah, they're holding back. So I feel like this person's holding back. They, they're, they're disappointed. Um, but they do now I'm not saying they're right to be or anything like that. I'm just saying, you know, we're just looking at this person. All right. So it's like source is just saying like they, they feel that you are possibly like angry with them or annoyed with them. Um, they feel bad. They're like, Oh damn, why did I say that? Or, uh, I shouldn't have, you know, whatever, you know, fill in the blank kind of thing. Um, so as far as how they feel, they're closed off, you know, I, I feel like they, they're disappointed, but they've just like closed themselves off from the situation. What is the Knight of Swords, please? Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Interesting. So, I, I mean, yeah, all right. So, I do feel like there is like some sort of, hmm, I don't want to say ordained, you know, uh, situation here, but that's the word that came to mind. All right, that, so that did come to mind. So, for some of you, if that makes sense. But it's like, I, I do feel like there will be a movement forward at some point in this relationship, uh, if if that's what you want. You know, I mean, maybe you're done with this person or what have you. But, you know, I, I don't think they are. Or if the opportunity arose, it's like, I feel like this person would come rushing in. That's what I what I'm what I'm sensing. So it's not necessarily that that they I don't feel like they will come towards you necessarily because you know again I think they're they're a little um like they got the message you know that's that's what what I feel like whatever you you may not have been interested in this person or something like that but it's like I feel like they they got the message so it's like they they'll wait like if you make a move they are going to rush right in so I would be careful with that in a sense because it's like if this is like an ex or you know something that's just been drawn out or what have you sometimes in moments of weakness you know we'll we'll call call an ex or we'll text an ex or something like that and it's like I feel like this person would like jump on that you know um opportunity so if that's not something a door that you want to open again eh, you know maybe not the not the best thing to do but if it is, you know, at some point, you know, I do feel like this person would, um, like, they, they feel like a real strong connection here with you and, you know, temperance. It's like they they feel like there's something guided here. So, I mean, whether or not they subscribe to that type of energy or, or you know, philosophy or what have you, like, they may not know that consciously, but, un, you know, subconsciously, like, they, they do feel like there is a match here and that they're, like, guided towards you. So I do feel like there would be um, a quick response, like, were you to reach out if you wanted to? All right. It could be a Sagittarius, possibly. 
Um, I have Aquarius here as well. Um, Four of Wands. Wow. King and Queen of Wands and Justice and Ace of Pentacles. Whoa. Damn. Hold on. <laughs> Judgment. <laughs> wow. All right. So, yeah, you got some pretty big cards here. So, for some of you, you know, I mean, this is just current energy. So, for some of you, I feel like this is just a situation that's an on and off person kind of thing. For others of you, and it's not for everyone, I feel like there is sort of an ordained kind of situation here. And, you know, there... But don't, yeah, again, you know, don't make something what it isn't, you know, kind of thing. Because, I, I, again, I feel like this is for a rare few of you. There is something here about you two um, being very, very similar and being very... Um, like-minded, uh, having, like, I just see fun and um, connection here. And it's it's sort of, like, ordained, if you will, but it's also lighter also. So I don't see it as, like, this heavy twin flame journey thing or what have you. So I don't know. I do see connection for you. This could even be a new person, you know, coming in. So based on, like, what your decisions are or something along those lines. So, like, if this doesn't feel like some kind of ordained situation or, you know, divine situation, then I would say the message is that um, if you reach out, this person will rush in. Uh, however, then if it's, if it's not that other feeling that you get, then I would say that if you are just patient with yourself, there's going to be a new opportunity that feels right, you know, here. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. Wow. Yeah. Two of Cups was at the top of the, wow. Oh my God. Seriously. So I was looking at the bottom of the deck, but I just noticed the top of the deck is Two of Cups and Ten of Cups. So yeah, some of you have like a really good match here somewhere. All right. Uh, coming in. So if it doesn't feel like that person, you know, it, it's, it's, it could be like a little bit of a test to be patient. And then this new situation will come in. All right. Uh, let's see. What do we got for Taurus, please? Taurus. Who is coming towards Taurus romantically? Taurus. Ooh, somebody could miss you. There could have been some breakup energy here. Who is coming towards Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, any placement? is coming towards Taurus, please, romantically. Woo! Wow. All right. So, yeah, somebody really sees you as definitely wanting to move forward here. So the Nine, <clears throat> nine of Cups, um, they, they know... Like that you would be happy if they contact you. You know, they, they kind of know that. All right. Not in a cocky way. I don't, I don't think it's that in, in that vein or what have you, but they know that you are like looking for, you know, to move this forward or, you know, just looking for, um, like you're in the right energy and like this person recognizes that. So it, like they may not be in touch with things like that, but subconsciously somehow they do kind of know that like you're in a very positive mode right now. And it's, they, they just, I feel like they just look at you and they feel happy, <laughs> you know, it's like they just feel reborn or, you know, something along those lines. So I don't want to like over exaggerate this, but these are really good cards. So, and the Ace of Pentacles shows me that they will take action. This is like reaching out. This is, um, yes, I, I feel like there's... Um, like pride may have been, may have been at stake at one point in this connection. It feels like a new connection, but maybe, but kind of not. I don't know how to explain that. Like what I'm feeling. So this doesn't feel like an on off person that you've been on and off with for a long time, or like an ex or something like that. But it does feel like there is some sort of familiar familiarity here. So I do see this person reaching out to you, um, and they're not gonna like screw around you know this is like whatever they're they're coming to you with it's pretty solid so definitely like there's a happiness here that I, I just feel like they can't they can't deny it any longer so it's like um and they do know deep down 
Like, I, I don't know. I feel like fear or pride or something like that has held them back. But, like, deep down, they do know, like, that that um, that you feel the same or something like that. So I do feel like this person will be coming forward. I don't know when. You know, this is current energy, but it is the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles can be a little bit slow, you know, something along those lines. But, uh, you know, I do get the sense like this person is interested. All right. So now if for some reason you're watching this just to be watching it and you're not really concerned about love and maybe this is some other area of your life. All right. So, I mean, it could be something to do with your career or this or that or what have you, but there's like really good cards here. So something is coming to, you know, like brighten your field, brighten your energy, something along those lines. And it's a really, you know, it's a good solid uh, opportunity is what I'm seeing. All right. So that's for Taurus. Okay. Let's move to Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Who's coming towards Gemini, please, romantically? Gemini. All placements, please. Gemini. Uh, there's that Knight of Pentacles again. I saw that Knight of Pentacles twice. Yeah, look, so moving towards Gemini, slowly but surely. So it's like someone does kind of have a plan, you know? I mean, they're they're interested is is what I am seeing here. All right, uh, let's see. What do we got for Gemini? Who is coming towards Gemini's, please? Current energy, current energy for Gemini's. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, definitely someone uh, wanting to get get something going with you here. This is new energy uh, from what I see. So, um, yeah, this person definitely wants to, like, I don't, I'm, I'm trying to decide if they will. I'm going to look and see if there's going to be any action towards you. It's like they definitely want to make something happen with you, but I'm not sure... I'm guessing they will eventually, but it's like, yeah, they definitely like see an opportunity with you. Uh, they, they feel like they want to reach out. They feel like they want to just, this is my like wanting to test the water, you know, kind of card when I'm looking at these like little current energy love readings, you know, this is somebody that wants to kind of flirt or kind of see if that's even an option, you know, kind of thing. So I do feel like someone, you know, here is well, not, not feel like that. There's definitely some, some energy here interested in you. Uh, they, they also, I, I feel like they get the sense like you, you, you are like, they just want to see, I, I don't know that I, I'm going to take that back. They, they just, they're curious. They want to see like what you're about. That's what I, what I'm getting here. Uh, the magician, I feel like they're really trying to like make this happen in some form. So they're manifesting possibly, you know, or they just, it, or it could be an Aries uh, or another Gemini, possibly Virgo, but it's like they, they definitely want to come towards you. I mean, Ace of Wands here. Uh, yeah. Ooh, Five of Pentacles. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. So yeah, they may have felt like they missed an opportunity with you before or that they um, I don't know, I'm getting like set things right or something like that with this, like they they're interested in doing that. Um, all right. So let's see, is this person going to come forward? Are they going to communicate? I see that they want to, but I'm, I'm not sure if they're going to. All right. Is this person going to come forward and communicate towards Gemini, please? Okay. Two of Pentacles. Yeah. They, ooh, wow. They're just sort of undecided right now. Um, What's holding them back? What is holding them back from communication? Yeah, they're not sure. All right, so yeah, they think about you a lot, but they're not sure. They may feel like you're mad or like um, angry or something like that. I, that's kind of weird. Um, how would Gemini, how would they, um, how would they respond? How would they respond? 
Yeah. All right. So I feel like you would respond. I think you'd be curious. You'd be interested. That's what I'm getting. But this, like this energy, uh, they feel like they they don't know. So there's there's a couple different things here. Either they don't know because they maybe you're going through some sort of uh, breakup energy or on off energy with someone like that. So like since that energy is there, it's kind of in the air, you know. So it makes them unsure. They may not know that you're going through that or something like that. But when we carry that energy around us, then it's like people can innately sense that, you know, even if they're not like in tune to things. We just, we're, you know, human beings are good at that kind of stuff. We just kind of sense certain things. So I feel like they're, they could be very unsure about like how, you know, if they do come forward, like how things would be uh, taken. All right. I do feel like you, you would be fine with this. Like you would definitely respond back. You'd be curious, you know, that sort of thing. Um, possibly wanting to like, um, you know, have a conversation with this person, something like that. So, but I do feel like they think about you, this person. Some of you, sure, it could be an ex wanting a fresh new start, you know, absolutely, it could be that. Um, but I got new vibes from this, like new, but like not, I, I if that makes sense. <laughs> all right. So I do feel like this person's very interested, they're intrigued, all of those things, but they're, they're a little on the fence about communication. I do think they will eventually like come forward, but it's like, I don't know what they're waiting for here. What are they waiting for? Yeah, they could be waiting for you to heal from a situation that, again, like an on-off soulmate kind of situation that's very up in the air, you know, something like that. They could be waiting. Yeah, and look, and then they want to come in. They want to come in quickly here. So, yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. So I do feel like there's there's a situation here of a new energy that wants to come in. They're a little bit unsure, like if you're over someone or something like that. Um, I get that you would be interested in this person is, is what I am seeing. Uh, but again, it takes them coming forward. I feel, you know, and they will, I, I do, I do feel like this person will in time. I don't know how soon it's going to be, but I do feel like this person, it is a current energy reading and they really are feeling like they want to reach out. So I would say, you know, this is, probably something that will make itself known fairly soon is, is my guess. But there is a, an energy though here of like, I can't guarantee that, you know, because it's like, they're really thinking about it, but I didn't really get an absolute yes that they're going to reach out. So I, I just know that there's someone around you that, you know, they are interested. <laughs> All right. But there's, there's something about your energy or something like that. That's kind of keeping them at bay, or maybe that was their, you know, maybe they're going through like an on off thing with a soulmate and, and they're just not sure which, you know, do they want to contact, you know, new Gemini or do they want to stay in that situation? So, you know, there's something about like energy that needs to, needs to be cleared out. Um, I feel like like if if that's like you, you know, like you've cleared it out. <laughs> like I, I think you are like ready to have new, you know, new conversations, new, um, you know, new interests, things like that. All right. So let's see, that was uh, Gemini. We're on to Cancers. All right, Cancers, what do we have for you, please? Cancers. Cancers, who is coming towards Cancers, please? Who is coming towards the Cancers? The devil card. Uh oh. Could be a Capricorn. All right. Who is coming towards Cancers, please? Okay. So I do feel like you do have someone <clears throat> coming towards you here with the Knight of Cups, more in like my action position here. Um, it's interesting though, because they're not going to reveal like their feelings. They're holding back. Uh, but I do feel like th this person, they find you... Um, 
weird. So I just heard like destiny. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm getting these weird messages today. Um, it's a little big energy for current energy. All right. They, they see you as very balanced and like very just balanced is, is, is what I see. I don't know. I, I just I'm not exactly sure with justice here what that's trying to say. I'm going to get a, a little bit more on that. I do feel like this person, though, they are, they're going to kind of hold back, like, their emotion for you, but they are going to come in sincerely. So that I do see, all right, with the Knight of Cups. So I do feel like this, this per person will take action towards you. Um, they are wanting to come towards you and most likely will. Tell me about justice. Why do they see cancers as justice? Nine of Cups here. Ah, huh. Um, they could just see you as being um I don't know, very wise, very balanced, something like that. Maybe they see that you've recently separated or divorced, so now they're making their move. <laughs> Yeah, that, I, that's what I think. I think for most of you, like, I don't know, this is an energy that maybe, I mean, this could be someone coming back around or something like that. But it's like, as far as how they see you, it's like, either they know you want them to get like a separation or divorce, there's that too. All right, but they, they feel like holding back, but they are going to come towards you. Okay, so there's that. Uh, or it's like, they see that you have really overcome something or or like a lot of like they like like your sharp mind and that you are able to overcome certain things uh, maybe you guys talked or something because I, I get that this is new energy more than past but let's see is this new or is this past energy for cancers is this a new person or somebody coming back around Okay, yeah, I don't feel like you know this person yet, or you can't, you're not aware of them yet, kind of, kind of situation. So, I don't know, they, they see that you've um, wrangled some sort of situation, like they admire you for something, or maybe you meet this person through, you know, I don't know, I mean, King, it's weird. So, um, King of Swords, Justice, this could be ha having something to do with, it's like, maybe you get a traffic ticket, and it's a police officer, or something like that, and they're interested in you, I don't know. It's just kind of weird, because, you know, these two have to do with, like, law or legality things like that um but more than anything you know regardless of what this is it's like i feel like they do see you as like someone who is uh pretty smart you know pretty intelligent and also pretty balanced and is able to you know navigate through certain things uh pretty i don't want to say easily but it's like they they admire like the way that you uh, carry yourself is what I'm seeing. All right. So you, some of you may have recently become divorced or separated and it's like they've kind of hoped for that. Or so this is probably someone that, that is in your energy, but like you're not aware that they're interested in you or something like that is what, what I'm getting more. All right. So tell me about this um, Knight of Cups. And we do have a King of Wands here at the bottom of the deck as well. So tell me about this Knight of Cups. Uh, also, you have Libra here. You know, Justice is the card for Libra, if that means anything to you. But this is more like where how they see you. So Libra is, is you know, balance and, um, you know, that sort of thing. Air energy. They see like, like an, they, yeah, they have like a, like a um, cerebral connection with you also. Okay, so tell me about this Knight of Cups, please. Yeah, there's messages coming through, uh, definitely. So I do see like some sort of message coming through. You have Page of Cups here as well. Uh, some, you know, someone's reaching out. So it's like, this could even, maybe this is their energy. It's like, they're just like kind of tired of not opening up emotionally and things like that. I don't think they've like totally put that behind them. I still think they're coming in with that energy. But it's like, this is something for that many of you like aren't expecting. It's like, I almost feel like there should be a tower card here or something along those lines. So it's like, but this this person's like interested is is what I see. So, and 
they are interested in opening up emotionally. Maybe that's, you know, the attraction or something like that. Because I feel like you guys have a good cerebral connection, but somehow like deep underneath this person may be subconsciously drawn to you because they feel like you, um, you are very balanced in your emotions. And that's something that like they may not even be aware of, but it's like, again, subconscious at work, they're, they're needing to do that as well within themselves. So it's like that they, that's why they feel like drawn to you is what I'm getting. So yeah, something that you may not be seeing uh, at this time, but this person is interested and I do feel this person will communicate and is coming in very soon in your current energy. All right, nice, go Cancers. Uh, let's see. All right. Cancer. So we are on, uh, let's see. Leo's. All right, Leo's. Let's see what's going on for you. Okay. Leo's. Who is coming towards Leo's, please? Some of you may run into someone um, that you haven't seen for a while. Okay, Leo. Whoa. Okay, Leo, who is coming towards Leo, please? Who is coming towards Leo's? Um, possibly this is someone that's already in your energy. All right. So it's like, this is probably most likely an X for you guys. Um, yeah. So yeah, I feel like this is more of an X energy or an on off energy or something like that as far as, so this, th these are just current energy and I do these like every, you know, like few days, right? So like every three days, every four days, something like that. So it doesn't mean like new love isn't here or like a new situation isn't here or anything like that. But this is, you know, as far as who's coming towards you, this is still kind of the one around the perimeter or the, you know, the edges here. So it's like with the 10 of swords, um, you know, it's like, I feel like they know that you're, you're done, you know, and it's like, they do, like, there's this, like, energy that they do carry for you, but at the same time, it's like, oh, it's like a burden. So, it, you know, I feel like this person is, you know, there's feelings here and things like that, but it's like, honesty and trust are not their forte. So, you know, it's like, I, I don't know, you know, what went down between you two, but, you know, I do see like you being kind of done with this person. Um, I do feel like there's like fondness here, you know, as far as in the heart or what have you, but as far as like actions or, you know, where this is going, that sort of thing, I feel like this person's just trying to um, like move away from thinking about you and, and all of those things or thinking about like what, what you had or, you know, what have you. So there's like a, a, an air of nostalgia around this person right now, but ultimately it's like, <laughs> you know, they, that's what it is. It's nostalgia. So it's like with the seven of swords. Um, yeah, they, they just, they're not sure what to do with this situation. That's what I see. So ultimately, I feel like they just kind of, they're trying to turn their back on the situation and they're trying to move forward. So, because they know you're done, you know, it, that's, that's what I see. So yes, there is like still these, um, you know, because most likely you have history with this person. So I would hope to see this. Of course, there's still going to be like nostalgic feelings or emotions here. And those, you know, because at some point, you know, there was a reason that you guys were together and things were probably good at some point. But it's like with these two tens here, it's like you're done. They're having a hard time being absolutely done, but they also know that they need to be, you know. So it's like they're working on being done is, is kind of what I see. So I don't feel like this person's like necessarily coming towards you they may they may try to um like you know say hey let's go out and have you know some fun or let's go do this or oh our friends are going to do this you want to come or you know something like that but you know there's ulterior motives to it is is basically what i see here and it's it's something to really think about i i you know and look at from a different perspective here um 
yeah, tower card. Wow. Yeah, because this is it's it's a little bit of like if this person had any type of man manipulation type vibes, I feel like they could be like resorting back to those in some way. Now, the other side of the coin, if it's not like so much of a negative situation, then it's like this could be more of an energy of someone knows that you are done with a relationship okay and possibly they have carried a torch for you for a while and they may use like friends or something like that in order to um like get you out or something like that so that again i'm seeing this theme a lot in a lot of uh, almost every single reading i've done so far where this may be someone like around your energy that like knows that you're available now and they've carried a torch for you for a while and they may try to in this case it's not like a sneaky you know kind of thing it's more like they're being like sneaky because like in, in the way of like they want to run into you or you know or oh um, we have a mutual friend or, you know, something like that. So it's like they may be using that as like an in. All right. If it's if it's not that other situation that I saw. All right. So that's what I have for you, Leo. OK, uh, let's see. Virgo, Virgo, romantic energy. Who is coming towards Virgo romantically? Taurus could be a Taurus or another earth sign coming towards you. But let's see who is coming towards Virgos watching this video. Who is coming towards them romantically, please? So I feel like someone really misses you and basically they they want to work things out and they they want to do what they can to, you know, be happy with this situation. So King of Cups, you know, definitely has like a cup of love that they want to express or offer or something along those lines. So, I mean, this person, they may, um, now this could work two ways. Maybe they see that you are kind of down in the dumps or, you know, not you know, feeling so great or something like that. Right. But it's like, to me, I feel like this is a reading where someone like misses you. They do think about you. They think, how can this possibly work? Maybe it's a third party situation or something like that. But ultimately it's like, you know, they want to be, you know, more emotionally connected to you. So I do feel like they're going to reach out here. So I would say that there's probably communication coming in from you. Now, this does not look new. This looks like something that, you know, someone that you already would know about, most likely. Um, will there be communication here towards Virgos? Three of Wands. All right. I would say stay hopeful. Like if you miss this person or something like that, all right. I would say stay hopeful. You know, it's like they may be feeling or you may be feeling actually if you're the feminine energy in this, you may be feeling like a little bit like trapped in a situation. It's just sort of this like mental mind F that's going on, you know, just just kind of tough energy. You know, I mean, I don't know. I see this this energy here of, you know, someone definitely being you know, they're, they're focused on all the things that are going wrong and not seeing the things that could go right, you know, basically. And then if you're like this feminine energy here, it's, it's like just sort of afraid to dip your toe in the water here. You know, waters are emotions. You know, the King of Cups that we saw earlier has a lot of emotion. Like they have a pretty easy way of, of, um, 
showing their emotions and what have you. But the Eight of Swords person does not. They let mental fear, you know, overcome. So it's like, I do feel like in the future, there's going to be some sort of like clean slate or something like that or working things out. Now, there's another aspect of this too. So it depends on, you know, what's what. But like, if this is something that um, you are not working, you know, th this could absolutely be something more like around like, you know, mediation or something like that. So like, if you're looking to be free from this person or like you're going through a separation or a divorce with this person then i would say that you know this the, there's new things coming towards you like remain optimistic okay but for most of you i feel like this is an on off situation uh i do feel this person will come towards you they're gonna have a brighter energy uh also it's like they're gonna be happy to work things out is is what i see and, you know, mostly as far as the action, I feel like, you know, this may have been going on, but like right now, it's like what I'm seeing is more positive action. Like this person is, you know, very hopeful, you know, that, that there's a ten of cups here at the end of the rainbow or, you know, and it's like they're willing to like take a risk towards that. So I don't know if this is going to happen immediately. You have two threes here. So that could be uh, some symbolic in some way, because the three of wands to me as a reader is a timing card for me. Just it doesn't mean that if that shows up in other people's readings that's what it's going to mean but for me uh, you know it's like the three of wands is like three days three weeks three months so and not beyond <clears throat> not beyond that so there's something here there, there is like a, a happiness that i do see coming w with this situation it's like whether or not you want to like dip that toe in the water and you know uh kind of get the emotions wrangled and things like that and turn around and see what could be is is what i'm seeing now you may not want to if you don't you know if this is something that you don't want with this person then you know i would see this energy as there's still there's something good fresh you know um emotionally fulfilling motivating you know coming towards you all right so this would be like a new energy but it may be within that timing frame if if you're not looking to reconcile with this situation okay all right, uh, let's see, Virgo. So, uh, Libra, what do we got for Libras, please? Libras, romantic energy. Who is coming towards beautiful Libras? What do we got for you guys? Libra, I believe you showed up in, I think it was Cancer's reading. So some of you may be dealing with a Cancer. Um, all right, what do we have for Libra? Current energy, romantic love, please. What's going on? Who is coming towards Libras, please? Romantic, current energy. Okay, so I see a page of pentacles that fell out way over here. Okay. Um... Whew, this person, they feel like they have a lot of um, emotion for you, but they, they feel like abandoned or like kind of left out in the cold in a situation. So it's like, I get the sense it's like they, they may see you as like moving on or talking to other people or something like that. And it's, they, I, I kind of get the sense they feel like it's hopeless or something along those lines. So this is most likely like an X or, you know, some kind of energy like that. Um, all right, let's see. What else? This could be third party. Maybe you live with someone else. That could be it as well. Yeah, the chariot card. So it's like, yeah, can't uh, can't see your energy again. So and we do have the king of cups here. So some of you are dealing with, um, you know, uh, cancer, male energy most likely. It doesn't have to be a male, but male energy. So it's like I do feel like this person's like waiting to hear from you, or like they um, they miss you, or something like that with the page of pentacles. All right, so. Or you do. Actually, you may. You may, like, kind of... I don't know. It's kind of kind of tough to decide here. You know, some of you are looking and like somewhat, you know, like I, I do feel like you may be missing them or you're, you're looking at their communication or something like that. But ultimately, it's, it's like this um, King of Cups here 
they have feelings for you, but they either feel like, I don't know, maybe there's distance between you two or there's, um, there's a challenge here. I mean, five of pentacles, you know, it could even be financial reasons, something like that. Uh, it could also, you know, maybe, you know, you live with someone else, you know, there's a third party, something like that. But it's for the most part, I feel like this, um, this person, they want to like move forward. All right. So I also feel like their emotions at this time are like more than like, they don't think that you have the same amount of emotion for them as you do. Uh, or I'm not sorry. I said that the wrong way. Like they don't, whoever this is, they feel like they have more emotion than you do, um, in this situation. So, um, and they, they feel like they may be put off to the side or abandoned or something like that, but they want to move forward for with you. Could be another air sign also. Yeah. They're really unsure. So I, I think right now what they're doing is they're kind of closing off their emotions or they're going to be closing off their emotions because they just, they're not really feeling the connection, you know, emotional connection at this time. So I do feel like this person is interested in you, but I, they, I feel like they have a little bit of a victim mentality here where, <coughs> pardon me, where they feel like, oh, what's the use? So it's like, they're going to harden up is what I kind of see here and like not show, like they're not showing this emotion, even though they feel it, they're not showing that. So they're kind of like toughening up is what I see. So, uh, you know, maybe you're busy with things or something like that, you know, the page of pentacles. Um, but, or maybe there's a distance here. It's like a, a big drive or, you know, something like that. But it's like, they, they just don't feel like you're as interested in them as, as, um, they are or what have you is what I'm seeing. So this could be an ex. This could be, um, if it's a new situation, they, um, they just may feel like they're not emotionally connecting with you or they're not sure. And they don't like that feeling of being up in the air. So they're, you know, and this is like future though. This isn't necessarily current energy where I'm at now. And it's like current energy right now is I feel like they, they feel like things aren't working out or that, you know, it's like, when are they going to see you? When are they going to be able to drive to your house? When are they going to do this? You know, that's the current energy. So, but I feel like as time goes by, like they're just going to be a little bit more confused and they may start cl like closing down like their, their feelings a little bit, you know, like not purposefully, but, you know, just because they feel it may not be reciprocated. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we've got Libra. Let's move to, um, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Who is coming towards Scorpio, please? May, may be someone at a distance that is, um, like, you know, wanting to connect with you. Okay, who is coming towards Scorpio? Romantic love, please. Who's coming towards Scorpio? Two sixes, wow. All right. Uh, I feel like somebody wants to reach out to you. You know, they um, possibly want to take you out, something like that, but they're not sure, like, what the reaction would be is, is basically what I'm getting. So this could be a Virgo, possibly. Um, yeah, this is someone who, you know, they, they've got their confidence, and I feel like they want to ask you out. I feel like this is new energy. Uh with the hermit shining the light on this. So I feel like the hermit is, is saying, yeah, like pay attention to this. So yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Somebody's coming in. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. So 
I feel like the Hermit is highlighting this, saying, like, something is coming. So, like, if nothing's here right now, Scorpio, I've, then unexpectedly, like, some, you know, some energy is coming in here. And they're going to come in pretty quick and pretty passionately. And they're going to be pursuant and interested and in all of those things. So this may be happening. Like, I don't know. I don't get the sense that, like, this is the second although it could be you know tower card is very unexpected so um even though i have my timing my little timing card here it doesn't necessarily you know which is like to me three days three weeks three months you know something like that i don't feel like that is apropos here because it's like the tower card is here so this is going to be unexpected so i feel like some of you are you know, right now, maybe you're just sort of bored or, you know, there's really not much going on or, you know, something like that. And it's it's in so much so that you may not even recognize like, oh, oh, this is a date or something like that. I just kind of get like, like it, it kind of takes you off uh, off guard, you know, in a way. So I would say this is unexpected. Um, fire sign, highly figured here. All right. Uh, or just very pursuant, very passionate, uh, very interested, you know, type of energy. So yeah, it, this will take you by surprise is what I see. And I feel like with the hermit card here, shining the light on the four of cups, it's like, like pay attention to this offer. All right. Because it's like, you may be kind of in your own little, you know, Scorpio land, you know, where, you know, in, 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 in like not dreamland necessarily, but like in not really focusing on or not seeing things all around you, maybe like really focused on something else right now. So it's like definitely pay attention to your environment, you know, to like who's trying to get your attention or, you know, things of that nature. Because I feel like this, um, you know, this hermit card is saying, look, yeah, this is good. Yeah, so definitely some kind of new energy I am seeing here. Uh, someone coming in. They, I feel like, yeah, they're very up in their head about like how to um, how to come to, forward. But it's like, they're just going to do it. That's what I see. And it's going to be like, oh, wow. All right. So um, let's see. What is... So you're curious. Yeah, you're definitely curious. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, you guys, you may not have, like, realized it. You, you might have a couple different things coming in soon. But I, I basically, like was looking at like, how are you going to react or, you know, like that sort of thing or advice, you know, for you. So it's like, I feel like you're going to be curious. That makes sense. You're a Scorpio, right? And, and you're going to kind of like study this a little bit, you know, and you're going to try to like get an intuitive hit off of this. But I feel like that's a little bit blocked for you. Like you may not really be, um, knowing what to do with this in a sense but that's the thing scorpio sometimes you know it's like i'm scorpio too so it's like sometimes you know we we're so curious and we we want to solve mysteries and we want to like you know look into things but this is to me more of something that see what it is you know it's like i feel like this is sincere and um motivated coming towards you all right so uh, kind of that's what you need to know you know it's like that I, I would just stick with that it's you know I mean obviously follow your instincts if you don't feel it's it's something good or you know something like that but I don't see any mischievous cards around this or any red flag cards around this at this point it's just current energy right but I, I see something worth exploring you know see what it's about you know don't try to intuitively like figure out what this you know the situation is or you know something like that not that you shouldn't listen to your intuition of course but I, I feel like this is like you're trying to like force like your intuition like about the situation and it's not about that just kind of like let things flow and you know see see what's going on you know with the situation that's that's the kind of like advice that comes out so all right go scorpio uh let's see sagittarius what do we have for you sagittarius Sagittarius, who is coming towards Sagittarius romantically, please? Any placement? Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. I just dropped, like, all the cards in my lap. Okay. Who is coming towards Sagittarius, please? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. 
Some of you are keeping someone at a, at a distance, possibly a Gemini. Might have a Leo coming in. Saw a sun card there. All right, what's going on for Sagittarius, please? Sagittarius. Who is coming in towards Sagittarius? Thank you. Uh, yeah, we saw that earlier. Okay, Um. yeah, all right. Somebody's interested. That's what I see. Um, I am getting this theme in just about every, like, freaking reading. So, and it's probably because of the new moon. You know, everybody's looking for, like, new things or what have you. So, it's, like, this energy of someone who, um, I feel, I feel like they're highly attracted to you. But, again, like, they're not sure, like, what your status is or, like, what you think of them or, you know, something like that. So, I do feel like there is someone around you that is very attracted to you. And it's not just, like, I mean, it is physical, you know, definitely is that. But it's not just that. It's, like, <clears throat> like I feel like they are highly intrigued by you. All right. So, that's, that's what I'm seeing. Uh, so, is there any action from this King of Wands? Could be a fire sign. Is there any action? Usually, the King of Wands, to me, is an action-oriented card. But let's see. Could be someone from the past too. It could be someone like not, you know, like wondering, like, well, what's up? What's up with Sagittarius? What are they, you know, because they don't know. They don't know what what you're up to. All right. So tell me about this King of Wands, please. Yeah, they they're very indecisive. They may have other options as well, or feel like you do. Like they may feel like you're involved with someone else. So this could be a little third party, but it might might be like on your side. You know, like you may be with someone and so they're not sure like if they should approach or something along those lines. Yeah, they find you very attractive. So they're they're very attracted to you. Um, are they going to reach out, this King of Wands? Yeah, Nine of Cups. They sure want to, that's for sure. I, I do feel like they will eventually. Um, I don't get like super quick action with this energy. Give me a little bit more on, um, yeah, they, they really see you as like a match here. Yeah. So they want to make something happen with you. I do, you know, Taurus is here, Gemini, uh, it doesn't have to be either of those signs, but I do feel like this person does, they really want to make something happen with you is what I'm getting. But again, I feel like there's like this unsureness, like they may feel like, like they may be with someone and they're deciding whether or not they want to leave that someone to come towards you or vice versa. They may feel like you are with someone and that's what's possibly, you know, what they're unsure about, you know, but it's, I just, I feel like they want to make this happen, you know, so much that they're going to approach is what I see. So let me take a look and see if there's communication. Oh yeah, Knight of Pentacles just came out as well. Yeah, this person's highly, highly interested. So, um, and serious from what I can see. Uh, all right, so. Um, yeah, they're holding back right now though. Yeah, they're holding back possibly until like they know that you're single or until you are single is, is the message that I am getting. So with the Fool card here, it's like, I feel like they definitely wanna ask you out. They wanna take you out. Um, they may be holding back their emotions of how they feel about you uh, because honestly, true, that's the weird thing is like, I'm not even sure they know like these things. It's like, they're just interested. They feel drawn to you. They feel drawn, drawn, drawn. So it's like, th but there's all these like really like kick-ass kind of like metaphysical cards going on beneath the surface here. So th these things might be showing later is what I'm getting if this is new. All right. It probably is new for most of you. Um, it could be someone from the past, but you know, they've, th it's not somebody that you've been with recently, like where you just broke up with like two days ago or something like that. This would be someone who, oh yeah, remember that Sagittarius wonder what's up with them. You know, if it is someone from the past. So there's, uh, definitely an energy here. I feel like this person, yeah, will ask you out eventually. Like they want to take you out, take you out for drinks, dinner, fun, uh, meeting friends. I don't know. It could just be casual or something like that. Cause I feel like they're, they may be holding back their emotions at this time so it might be very casual is is what i'm seeing here but you know ultimately 
whether they know it or not, I do feel like there, like there's a stronger connection here um, that you you guys will have, like, um, yeah, take a chance on or a leap towards. So this looks pretty pretty intriguing, pretty nice. Um, you know, if it is an ex coming back, it, it's. I don't feel like I said it's like somebody that you've been on and off with recently, like just now or something like that. Um, maybe you know. I mean, I don't want to you know just like spoil somebody's whatever. But it's like I just I, in like intuitively, I'm not really feeling that energy. So it would be somebody more that like maybe you dated a year ago or you know something like that. But yeah, I de definitely see. Um, so the other thing too is I would say if you do have someone else, like they're waiting for you to be single before they take that leap of faith towards you also. So like if your energy is tied up with somebody that you're not really, you know what I'm saying? It's like, like if you know who this person is, you know, some of you might, you know, I don't know if you do, but some of you might, if you know who that person is and you're interested, you may want to like make it known like, hey, I'm single, you know, I'm, I'm available, you know, that, that sort of thing. Okay, uh, let's see. So that was, uh, who was that? That was Sagittarius. So we are on Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Let's see what is going on for you. Okay, Capricorn. Possibly a lot of thinking. Saw that uh, Four of Swords, Six of Swords. Um, trying to move, yeah, trying to move on. Trying to move on from someone. Emotionally detaching. Yeah, I feel like some of you have gone through a breakup or something recently. Or some sort of uh, situation where it's like unfulfilling or, you know, you're feeling unfulfilled. Like if it, it's not a breakup necessarily, then some of you just really haven't had much going on or, you know. So let's see. Let's see what's coming in for you, Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. Who is coming towards Capricorn, please? Knight of Wands, okay. <laughs> okay, so good cards today, yay. Yeah, this is, you know, my kind of like date type card, you know, somebody wanting to, you know, take you out or something like that, so that's good. Knight of Wands, um, <laughs> interesting. This person sees you as very, like, well, A, you know, they want to move towards you, you know, definitely. I feel like this person, like, they don't want you to get away or something like that. So it's like they they may see you as out and about and, like, being kind of – they may see you as the player, Capricorn. They may see you as the player. Um, not that – you know, I, I, not necessarily, you know, in that – that lingo necessarily, but, or, you know, but that vibe, like they see you as a uh, sort of a um, gallivanting around town or, or looking for new love or, you know, out, out dating. And, you know, they, they may see you as like this person. All right. Um, they see you as fun, also adventurous. What is their action? What is their action? Okay, so this could be a past person. This could be a past person in your energy that's just focused on, like, business right now and things like that. They may think that you're just out doing whatever <laughs> is what I get. And it's like they, you know, the action at this time, like, if this is a, a past person or an ex or an on-off energy, it's like they are just, like, focused on healing at this time. So I don't think that they're, like like coming towards you all right they they just feel because i feel like the this king of pentacles is like turning away like oh my gosh you know there goes um capricorn you know uh chasing love or you know chasing this or chasing that or something like that and you know they're, they're trying like not to see what you're doing is what i see so i feel like this person is just focused on their healing right now and you know where you know other things in life they have like a, a heavier energy but it's like a good heavier energy i gotta say so i don't know this is probably uh, there's a weird reading so i don't know i feel like someone needs to do this you know so it's like they're doing this all right they're healing they are like realizing that they you know what they're you know that they have to make certain judgment calls this could have been a third party situation where they just kind of let you let you go you know and because they may have felt like it wasn't serious or something like that to begin with i don't know i, I you know not 
remember there's cross watchers here too so this may not necessarily be your energy capricorn all right i'm going to give you one one other spread too but I, I i get the sense like there's a message here of like as far as who's coming towards you it's someone that possibly wants to reconcile here but it's they feel like you are like they can't keep up with you so is this king of pentacles interested in reconciling is that what this is about no see it's like i don't know I mean, if they are, it's, it's like they're doing it from a different perspective. So, I mean, there's, I can't say absolutely that this person wants to come back and reconcile with you. All right. Um, I mean, we do have the star and judgment card, which can mean that, but my, my instinct was more that they're turning away from, you know, this like sort of like, I feel like they're turning away from you at this time so that they can heal. However, you know, maybe this is them. They're turning away from their player ways and they're trying to heal and, you know, make some decisions here. You know, the hermit is saying, hey, it's time to change. It's time to reinvent a situation here or um, re, you know, have a situation reborn, but in the right way with the right judgment calls. So, I mean, you know, they, they just feel concerned about this. So if it makes sense, like if your person is, that makes sense to you that they they're working on their own healing and they're working on, you know, knowing that they need to make a judgment call. Maybe again, this is a third party and they know that they're going to lose you because, you know, you're going to be off and on, off and running if they don't leave their person soon. You know, it could be something along those lines, but they are taking something very seriously here. That's what I will say. So the, whoever this is, I don't feel like they're coming towards you. All right. Um, but it could go both ways. They may be just trying to heal themselves from you or they are not coming towards you but yet they are like working on the situation so it can be reborn all right so in at at some point so if that makes sense all right so that's what i i see there is there any new energy coming towards uh capricorn But I would say your person is taking things very seriously and there's there's a lot of like good work going on here behind the scenes all right with them you know and i mean if that's what you you know if you don't like this person and you're like oh screw them or something like that then this this reading isn't for you this is like where you would be happy to hear this or you know something like that all right so let's see capricorn please anything new coming towards capricorns yeah wheel of fortune um wheel of fortune's always good yeah, Ten of Pentacles. All right. So I do feel like there's stability coming towards you. Yeah, there's something new coming in. It is, is, wow. Yeah, definitely what I see here. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I do feel like there's a new connection coming in for you guys or a new stability, something like that. Uh, something that graduates in, in stages here. A really good emotional connection for you, too. So, I mean, it could be this situation, you know, and it's looked at newly, you know, if that makes sense for you. It's like maybe once, like you, maybe you showed this King of Pentacles, hey, like if you don't leave this other person or whatever this situation is, then, you know, I'm just going to turn the other way and go and head towards, you know, new love or something like that. And that's making them think. All right. So that, that could be what's going on here. But either way, it's like, I do see something very stable coming in for you and a really good match here and kind of like, Mm, you know, it's like the choice, though, is for you to turn the wheel. That's what I see the most, because it's like if you go back into like uh, stuck energy or making decisions out of fear or anything like that, I feel like this is not coming in. But if you make decisions for yourself, Capricorn, towards like turning that wheel, being positive, doing things that will get you unstuck, you know, thinking in the mentality, uh, you know, the right mindset that will get you unstuck. I feel like there's a lot waiting for you here, a really good connection possibly leading to like really long term here as well so um good reading there all right uh let's see capricorn that was uh aquarius we are on all right aquarius okay who is coming towards aquarius please romantic love Ooh. so maybe you may have a fire sign leo is coming towards Aquarius, please. Romantic love. Any placement, Aquarius. Who is coming towards Aquarius? Romantic energy, please. Current energy. Who's coming towards Aquarius? Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I feel like someone, you know, like misses you or, you know, maybe feels like regret or something like that. They've had some kind of revelation, something along those lines with the hangman tower, you know, what have you. So it's like, I do feel like they, they're wanting to make a choice to, you know, see things from a different perspective in their world. All right. So it's like they want to come out of this, like, you know, regret, remorse, you know, I don't know, maybe they... Um, yeah, maybe it was third party, most likely, something like that. So it's like out of the blue, you know, kind of energy here. All right. Um, what is their action towards Aquarius? Okay. Um, if it's a female, they're definitely in their head, but they, they want to turn the wheel. All right. So I feel, I feel like if it's a female... It could be a Gemini or something or um, Virgo I have as well. If it's a female energy, I feel like they they are looking at this as something that's like lost or what have you. Because this is my Queen of Cups looking at an urn, right? And it's like they, I feel like they don't want to think about this anymore. And they're going to like kind of turn the wheel and, and possibly like just throw themselves into this or that or the other or whatever uh, to like, so like if you're cross watching for an Aquarius and you're a female or something, then it, this may be like you wanting to just kind of separate, you know, your energy, throw yourself into like hobbies, projects, work, you know, something like that. It's like there, there's most likely um, this like metaphysical connection, but it's like, ultimately I feel like, you know, if it is a female, like there's like, there's no action cards here necessarily. Okay. So if it's a male, I, I do feel like they think about you a lot, but they may like, they work a lot. So I feel like they, they think about you physically a lot as well. Like they're very physically drawn to you and not just because of that, but it's like they, but they are, you know, they are very physically drawn to you. Um, so if it's a male energy, what is their action towards Aquarius? If it's a male energy, what is their action towards Aquarius? Ooh, yeah, they are definitely into you. All right. So I, <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're all about you. Okay, so I would say if this is a male, it's like they miss you. They want to make something happen here. Um, they may feel like they made a mistake or something like that. And they, they really are making the choice now, like I said, to see things from a different perspective. They see like how, how you do. You know, they see that you have like this ability to just see so many different angles of things. And I feel like they admire that or something along those lines. So this male can't stop thinking about you. They're very physically attracted to you, but it's more than that. It's not just physicality. You know, we have an ace of cups here. We have the nine of cups here. So there's cups here. I like seeing that. Um, but yeah, I ain't gonna lie either. There definitely is all, you know, there's definitely a lot of physical going on here, but you know, but it is backed in, you know, the ace of cups which is good. I like seeing that, you know, there's some sort of sincerity with this. This isn't just like some, you know, dude that just like misses the way that, you know, you mm, mm, fill in the blank, right? Th there's a little bit more to it than that. So um, I do feel like there's like probably an X energy or an on off energy or somebody that you have a big, strong physical connection with energy that is coming back around. And uh, that's, yeah, that's what I see for you guys. All right. Ah, uh, let's see. That was what? Aquarius? Okay, so we are on Pisces. Pisces, please. Pisces. So who is coming towards Pisces romantically, please? Who is coming towards Pisces? Any placement, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, um, romantically. Who's coming forward? Who's coming towards Pisces? So Pisces, I think this person, they see you as kind of holding back right now. Like you're not really engaging is what I get. Um, they know that they need to make like a choice, you know, and it's like, here's the thing though. Like the action is, yes, I feel like they're going to reach out. Um, 
but I don't think it's really like like um, it, it's sincere and all of that. But I don't think it's like really anything it, like big. Okay, so it's like they. Pisces, I feel like your person, they, they feel that you're like holding back from them, that you're starting to question this or that you, you know, you're not as emotionally uh, taken by them as you used to be. So they're starting to sense this and they're starting to realize that, well, hmm, I better kind of decide like, you know, how to make room for Pisces in my world or like I better choose if it's a third party or something like that. So they're they're feeling this and they're knowing this. I just don't feel like they're doing it. All right. I feel like they have like a lot of charm. They have a lot of, you know, um, sincerity and things like that. But it's like there's not much action that I see here. So I feel like this person will reach out. This is most likely somebody that you have some kind of history with, with the Six of Cups here. I don't feel this is new energy. And it's like, they're going to be sweet. They're going to be a sweet talking this and that. And it's it's going to be sincere, but it's like, I just, I don't really see like action. All right. Is, is basically what I am seeing here. All right. So tell me, is there any, will this person take action or com you know, communicate towards Pisces? Thank you. Queen of Cups. Yeah, see, they, they kind of sense they know they have to um, offer you something. But what they offer, like, I don't know. I don't think you're going to be satisfied, Pisces. Because it's like, you're a queen, you know. So it, it's like, and like, what's being offered is sweet. But it's, it's not exactly, you know, like, you see whatever they're offering is already, like, an urn or, or something like that. So it's, I don't know, I, I feel like this person, maybe it's, like, too little, too late kind of thing or something like that. Um, or it's, like, if you, you, you may go for this and you may message back or, you know, all these things. Communication is coming, I do see. But still, it's, like, I think that you, you see that this isn't, like, what you need or what you want or something along those lines. So, I mean, I feel like there's, um, you need more than this, you know, than, than communication. So I do feel, you know, as far as current energy, yes, I do feel like someone's going to reach out. I do feel there will be communication. It'll probably be fairly quick with the page of wands. Wands are quick moving energy. I just don't think it's, and it, and it, it is sincere, but I, I think it's just not what you need. All right. That, that's just my opinion, you know, so you can take that or, or leave it or whatever. Uh, so, but the reading itself does show communication coming towards you. And, you know, this person, I do feel like they are starting to see like that you are withdrawing your emotion or, or feelings or something like that. So um, they know they've got to make some kind of choice here. So, but that's the thing is, you know, they know that, but they're not really doing that. They're just kind of reaching out sweetly is what I see, which is beautiful. Yeah, I love the Six of Cups, but it's like, if this is a relationship relationship, it's going to need more than Six of Cups to it, you know, more than this nostalgic, uh, you know, kind of energy here. So I do see communication coming towards you, though. All right. Okay, that's what I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If so, leave a comment, thumbs up, subscribe, all those good things, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much.